Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Barbina's World. Right now, I'm at the castle, and I'm just organizing the chests a little bit, labeling each of the chests with item frames, uh, because that's what I need to do in order to actually start using this storage system, because right now it's not really functional. Now, when I organize these chests, I also have to do something called um, chest slot allocation, which um, basically means I need to put one item of each type in every chest slot that I want to have that item in it. Anyways, when I was doing this, I realized that I didn't really have any redstone or redstone components to allocate the chest slots with. So what I have to do now is make a good way to get some redstone quickly and easily. I've decided that probably the best way to do this is to use villager trading because cleric villagers sell redstone pretty cheaply and um, I've basically infinite emeralds. Okay, so finally, after having a few issues, including dying twice to a zombie that I use in my villager trading setup, uh, I finally finished collecting all of the new um, cleric villagers. I have four of them, and that should be enough to um, provide me with redstone uh, yeah, for a while. Now it's time to get back to organizing those chests. Okay everyone, uh I'm back and I've spent a few hours organizing this area. Yeah, it's getting a bit boring and I want to do something else. So I'm here back in the nether and what I'm going to be doing is building a simple basalt generator. And basalt is another one of those blocks that uh, was introduced in the nether update and uh, yeah, it's pretty simple to farm so I'm going to start building up this basalt farm. Now, this um, basalt generator was designed by Lazeworks, and um, yeah, it takes advantage of the fact that um, you can instamine basalt uh, with haste 2 and efficiency 5 on a pickaxe. Basically, it um, works because um, when lava flows over soul soil uh, while touching blue ice, it forms basalt. So what we have here is a layer of blue ice, a layer of soul soil at the bottom, and then in between, uh, when the lava flows, it forms the basalt. Okay, so I finished the basalt generator, and the player just stands right here. They press the button, and quickly start mining the block. And this farm it's extremely fast, it produces over 70,000 basalt per hour, and that's uh, as fast as a player can mine with a pickaxe. Here I've disabled the block breaking particles, so you have a much clearer view of what's happening. As you can see, as soon as the blocks are formed, they are immediately broken. Okay, I guess I have to go back to organizing the chests now. Welcome back everybody, and that really did take a very long time. But I finally finished organizing all of these chests. 
and yeah, as you can see, I've reserved each of the slots with the item that I want to stack up into that slot. And in any of the slots that I didn't use, I just put some stained glass panes, gray stained glass panes, and I renamed them so they wouldn't stack up with anything, just to block off the slots. And yeah, I did this for all of the several hundred chests, and I think this was in total uh, about 3,000 chest slots that I um, organized. Anyways, I'll do a quick overview of what each of these um, segments has. This segment has um, all of the basic utilities, stuff that you'd need um, often, like workstations, basic tools, rockets, um, ender pearls, arrows, food, uh, lighting and fuel. This is all the valuables, diamonds, gold, emeralds, lapis, and iron. This is all of the redstone stuff. Uh, this is just rocks, stone, cobblestone, all of the other different rocks. And these are um, all the things that can be dyed. Uh, dyes up here, and then glass, uh, wool, terracotta, and um, concrete. We also have some prismarine here, and just a spare chest for some other building blocks that I may have forgotten. Um, now we have sandstone, sand, gravel, dirt, um, snow and ice, and some decorative things. Uh, this entire place is for nether, and at the bottom we have some end-based blocks. Wood is over here. All, all of them are organized like this. And nature. We've got all different plant materials here, as well as bone meal for growing plants. And mob drops are here. Bones, rotten flesh, string, etc. Okay, everyone. Uh, since that organization thing took so long, I've decided that I'm not going to do anything uh, more this episode. Um, and yeah, I just want to get out this video as soon as possible. So thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make any big plans for the next episode because, yeah, I just don't know really how long it'll take because... Oh uh, yeah, this took so long. Uh, goodbye.